how's it going everybody welcome back to another video today uh i have a video for you guys that i actually filmed a few days ago i went diving with my friend hunter and um the water was super dirty uh on the inside and on the outside it was clean but the current was some of the fastest current and strongest current that i've ever been in in my entire life so we were forced to go back on the inside because it was too dangerous to stay on the outside and I busted out the three prong because I didn't expect to see anything crazy um, while diving in the shallows. So I brought out the three prong and I managed to get a nice munu um, and some invasive species as well. So I'm going to show you guys that. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm going to do a catch and cook at the end, as you can tell by the title of the video. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you guys like the video, if you like videos like this, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and like the video. It really helps out my channel a lot. But other than that, let's get into the footage. Shoots. All right, guys. So this first clip is not actually from the same dive. This is a different dive that I did with some other friends. But I got down to the bottom and this big collie comes flying in. So I just lined up a shot. Looks like I spined him. But... Yeah, not from the same dive as you can see it's or as you'll see soon. It's a completely different reef, a lot cleaner. But I just wanted to show that to you guys because I thought it was a pretty cool little clip. So nice call. All right guys, so here's the actual dive. Uh, it doesn't look that dirty on camera, but we couldn't even see the bottom and this is only in 30 feet. So I'm dropping down with my three prong because I saw a pile of like Polanis, Nai Nai, stuff like that, Maninis, Kalas. So I dropped down and I started dusting and scratching the ground, kind of just trying to call something in. And then behind everything, I see a big Munu. Sorry, coming in right there. So I line up. Boom. I always love sh when I can shoot fish like this with a three prong because um, it just feels really nice because three prong takes a lot more skill. If you want to shoot the same kind of fish um, that you shoot with a gun with your three prong, it takes a lot more skill, helps, uh, helps you pract practice your stocking and bottom time, all of that stuff. And it always feels good when everything lines up and you can get a nice fish with a three prong. So. Yeah, honestly, I think three pronging is super fun and I would do it all the time if I could shoot the same fish with my three prong that I do with my gun, but big Munu, like a two pounder, so super nice fish. On this drop, I saw a good sized Kali swim underneath me. So I dropped down. I couldn't see him while I was dropping, but I figured maybe I can drop down and call him back in. So I get down to the bottom. I started dusting a little bit, scratching. And the Kali starts to come in, he's right there. So I keep my head down, trying not to spook him. And I just keep dusting, making sure he's still in range. And then I kind of look up one more time and he's right there. And here is an issue that I have a lot actually. So I smack him right in the gills, as you can watch in the replay there, right in the gills, but the spear doesn't penetrate. And it's cause I had super weak rubbers because I left that rubber out in the sun for a long time. So make sure you take care of your rubber or make just check it and get new ones. Cause you can lose nice fish like that if you forget or if you leave it out in the sun cause the rubber gets all cracked. So here on this drop, I didn't see, that's how dirty it was. I didn't see that Hunter was already down there um, because I couldn't see the bottom. So, but it doesn't really matter. He was coming up anyway. So I dropped down, same pile of fish that I shot the Munu in. And here's another example of why you need to check your rubbers and make sure they're, um, they're not cracked or anything because you can seriously weaken uh, your three prong power so I saw that Roy I was thinking about shooting it 
expected him to pop out on the other side, but he didn't. And then when I look up, when I look around, there's a good size Omibu, like a one and a half, two pounder. And I hit it, once again, Spear doesn't penetrate. He wiggles off pretty easily. And so this is a problem because if your rubber is weak and you're hitting fish, not only are you losing fish that you could be eating, but you're also um, injuring fish and leaving them injured out in the ocean where they could die. And then that's just kind of like a waste. So I should have checked before I left, but I checked afterwards because I was confused as to why I was losing all these fish. And it's because my rubbers were all junk. But here I decided to try and take a few invasives because we weren't seeing anything else. So I just shot a small toal. And then me and Hunter shot a couple more after this as well with the gun and the three prong. But yeah, it's kind of bummed out that I lost the, uh, the Papio and the uh, Monokali, but it's all good. I mean, hopefully that Monokali is okay. I did hit him in the gills, but it wasn't super deep because um, the my rubber was weak. And also, if you don't have a lot of power on that Evolve three prong with the knurled tip that's what they call that stainless steel textured uh three prong head uh if you don't have a lot of power that that those that texture makes it hard for the spear to go through um it makes it hard for it to come back out like once you hit the fish and you penetrate um it makes it hard for it to come back out but at the same time it makes it hard for the spear to actually go all the way through and um that's part of the reason why but mostly it's because um, I had weak, uh, I had a weak three prime rubber, so always check that. Make sure you got the proper amount of power and make sure you got solid bands on before you start shooting at fish. So just make sure your rubbers are good. There's the right amount of power and everything because you don't want to be losing good fish out there. You know, it's always heartbreaking to lose a solid fish. Um, and But at the same time, you don't want to uh, put injured fish out in the ocean and have them die for no reason. So learn from my mistakes and uh, always check your rubbers. Back from the dive, got a few toals, not as many as I would have liked, but still a few. And then we got this big Muno that I got with my three prong. So I'm just gonna get this guy cleaned up and then we're gonna cook him. All right guys, we got the big mono all cleaned up, scaled and gutted. So now we're just gonna cut some slits into the sides and I think I'm gonna do a steaming kind of baking recipe um, that's super quick and easy because it's kind of late right now. And then um, yeah, it should taste mean. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna cut some slits, get some seasoning on either side. It should taste mean. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you made it to the end, thank you so much. Um, the Munu tasted great and it was one of the biggest Munu I've ever shot in my life. Um, and it was on the three prong, so pretty stoked about that. But yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. I got a pretty cool video coming out or I'm gonna be filming it next week. 
Um, hopefully it comes out good and I got a couple of my friends coming in uh, from Maui that I haven't dove with since my last trip over to Maui. So um, yeah, I'll have that video out hopefully within the next week or two and it's gonna be a banger so stay tuned for that. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Shoots everybody.